So over the last couple of weeks, I've seen some changes in trend in the market. Um, the market is still active, but doesn't seem to be as active as three weeks ago. From the lending perspective, what do you think is happening in the market? It's a great question. Well, quite frankly, we're seeing the exact same thing for a couple of reasons. Number one, we've all heard in the news, social media, of the increase in interest rates right now. And I think a lot of buyers right now are taking a bit of a pause and simply saying, all right, what is going to happen with rates and how does that impact my overall affordability? Mm -hmm. Secondly, is that um, they're also assessing what's going to go on in the market too. Are house prices kind of at a stopping point right now? Are they going to accelerate from here? Or because of the interest rates right now on the rise, we start seeing some downward pressures on values a little bit. So I think we're in a bit of a waiting game right now, an uncertainty period right now, but it's always short-lived. We've seen this happen you know, back in 2016, 17, a very similar circumstance where we saw a rise in interest rates, home prices were going up, and then all of a sudden we had a bit of a pause. And mm -hmm. I think we're seeing a replication of that all over right. again. I do remember a couple of years ago when the interest rate went up from the fourth to the fifth and buyers stopped for two, three weeks. And they looks like they finally realized that was reality and they start acting again. Agreed. You think that's going to happen again this time? I, I do. And I do think that things are already starting to see those things put in place there. Um, uncertainty is never great on a home ownership. Mm -hmm. I do think some buyers right now are truly seeing though that sense of urgency like hey maybe i should indeed lock something in now both on the price and as well as the interest rate mm -hmm. because i have no idea what's going to happen six months from now and i think it gives opportunity right now to continue with a decent spring market not at the acceleration that it has been but still mm -hmm. at least an active spring market now in theory it does sound to make sense this way but uh, can i question this yep. okay so the last two three weeks my personal experience with my own buyers and listings i realized that um, whereas in the past i would have expected 30 plus people to show up at a showing but now it's probably just even less than 10. Right. so um somehow that sense of urgency was not very apparent yeah. over the last two weeks yeah and i think it's because of again what we talked about before homeowners right now are whereas in the past i would have expected 30 plus people to show up at a showing but now it's probably just even less than 10. right so um somehow that sense of urgency was not very apparent well, one of the things to focus on is that do you want to see a higher mortgage rate or do you want to see a continuation of acceleration in gas prices food mm -hmm. clothing all of it things that we have to do every single day the interest rates continue to rise until the inflation rate starts slowing down. Correct. It's almost like a trade-off, you're paying one thing or the other. Exactly correct. And until we get to that point there, it puts a lot of the other market in flux, uncertainty, and a slowdown in what we're seeing right now in terms right. of real estate sales. So what do you think is going to happen later on in a seller's market or a buyer's market? You no, know, I still think, unfortunately for a buyer, it is going to be a seller's market for quite some time. As we know right now across the United States, there are 4 million home shortages in terms of units um, of, of today. And until we catch up a little bit um, in that number there, it's going to stay a seller's market. Supply and demand. And right now, there's little supply and still significant demand. So recently, I've heard of a few cases where the appraisals came in underappraised. Yes. Quite frankly, what's really happening is that because home prices have accelerated so much, mm -hmm. the values of prior are not at that level. Remember, we have to use a historical perspective. What's going on 30, 60, 90 days in the past um, are not there. And that's we're seeing a little bit of a gap right now in terms of the appraisals versus what the houses are selling for. And we are seeing examples in shortages. Now, it's not all markets. It's definitely segmented. Uh, Rhode Island, we're seeing some of that right now. Mm -hmm. Out in the western part of Massachusetts and central Mass, we're seeing that. Other areas, though, like this great town of Newton, Wellesley, West, etc., it really hasn't been as much of an issue. In previous years, I've seen the market fluctuates in terms of slowing down in May, but speed up again in June, July, then slowing down again towards September. Exactly. So what do you think the buyer should be doing? They should have a sense of urgency right now because interest rate will continue to rise. Very much so. And I think that they need to assess what their affordability is um, all over again. A rise in interest rate is going to have an impact on the payment. Go back to your lender. See what your affordability looks like today versus what it looked like back in February. And it is definitely going to be.